Hi everyone, this is Greg from Minicat. Let's go back on the Minicat Goopy for one sec. You have just loved it since its release in 2018. A boat that fits in one bag, takes 10 minutes to assemble, also very affordable. But do you know why it's named Guppy? Actually, it was the name of Laura Decker's sketch, the youngest person ever to have sailed around the world single-handed. I met her at the boot to Seldorf to discover how a mini cat managed to seduce her during her world sailing tour. Um, so I was 14 when I left and I was 16 when I finished. So it was uh, during this trip you first saw a mini cat? That's right, yeah, I was um, in Bonaire actually and uh, my sister was also visiting me in Bonaire and we, okay. we saw somebody pumping up this inflatable boat so I thought, hmm, okay, that's kind of weird. <laughs> um, and we went over to this guy and chatted uh -huh. a bit and he said, well actually it sells really well for an inflatable boat and my sister and I were like, yeah, yeah right, okay. Um, so we asked him, can we, can we try it out? Yeah? Said, yeah. Sure, go and have a sale. So uh, it was a 310. It was one of the really early 310s because yeah. this was in 2011, I think. Yeah. What was your um, first feeling on, on it? And it was it was great. I mean, we had a good breeze. We had like 15 to 18 knots wind, and my sister and I are both not really big, so we were just yeah, we were flying. It was great. Yeah. I loved it. So then when we came back, I thought, but this is awesome. I need this. <laughs> um, because on on the on Guppy, of course, like I would sail the big passage, but then I'm anchored somewhere. And yeah. yeah, you don't really get the fun sailing. Yeah, of bit course, of it. yeah. Um, so I contacted the mini kit and I said, I need a mini kit. <laughs> <laughs> and from there on, it uh, yeah. You said to and collaborate with them. Yeah, exactly. We decided to uh, to collaborate together, and then after a few years. Um, we made a special edition because every time I would sail the mini cat, I would say, oh, maybe you could change this or change that, yeah, yeah. tweak this a little bit. And so eventually they said, well, how about you make your own version? Because <laughs> I was just constantly telling them what to do and what to change. Um, so then we came so up with the Laura Decker edition. Yeah, the 420 Laura Decker edition. Exactly, yeah. So the, the bigger... It's a really, uh, yeah, the really sportive uh, Exactly. Uh, it's a bit lighter, a bit more sportive. Yeah. And I, I love to sail it in lots yeah. of wind and really kind of go for it. So it's a bit stronger. <laughs> Great. And uh, there's another boat you... Yeah, were, uh, so then recently we also uh, made a, a smaller guppy version, uh, which is actually really meant as the kind of first boat and it's really great for kids. It's a bit wider as well, so it's much more yeah. stable. Um, and it's super easy to assemble. It only takes 10 minutes. Yeah, and, uh, that's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Bob. And then you already can sail. So um, yeah, I love that. I love that I called it guppy. <laughs> and uh, well, I have to say, um, you are part of the people that uh, truly inspired me when it comes to uh, do things differently, to do things that really matter to me. And um, so I was wondering, who inspired you back then? Well, I read a book from Tanya Abbey. She sailed around many years before me, but she was the youngest at that stage. And I think her journey just really resonated with me because she did it in kind of a similar way as I did. She stopped along the way and it was really yeah. about like getting to know the world. Um, so that, yeah, her story really inspired me and, and my parents. Yeah, yeah and um, today you have started um, a big adventure with your uh, foundation. Yes. Who is still in inspires you in this adventure? Yeah, I think, well, my dad is always, always there yeah. for me. Uh, um, but. No, this is really um, kind of just came from my journey and from, uh, from all the people I met along the way that actually inspired me and, and made me who I am today because yeah, I learned a lot of lessons and yeah. really great things from people. <laughs> just the, the, the people on the islands, they think so different and they're so family yeah. orientated and, and, and really giving and loving. And, um, yeah, that, yeah was, that was really beautiful for me to see that on my journey. So I think I just kind of carried that on afterwards. So I have the foundation and I'm trying to get off the ground and make it happen. So I actually spend most of my time doing that. Um, I give presentations as well every now and then. In New Zealand I worked uh, as a marine electrician. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, and, and of course I got my captain's license. So I do deliveries every now and then. I keep myself pretty on that. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't see that. Yeah. All right. So uh, what's the website uh, of your foundation? I will put a, a link uh, okay, in the that'd comments. Okay, that would be great. Yeah, no, it's, uh, um, it's lauradeckerworldsailingfoundation.com. Okay. All right. Yeah. And uh, we can still uh, find your books of your yeah. adventure? Yeah, absolutely. On the website, if you go about Laura, then there is actually a whole 
part about the books in all the different languages. Okay, and great. Where to get them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, thanks, thanks a lot, Laura. Yeah. And uh, well, I hope the best for your foundation for your future. Thank you very much. Through her foundation, Laura is helping the youth to gain the necessary skills to reach their own dreams and goals. So check out the website lauradeckersworldsellingfoundation.com to support Laura and to become a part of the adventure. Also, don't forget to check out the new Minicat designs on our website. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time.